Morning out there in the DFS community. It's Vaughn, the stat man, coming into your YouTube airwaves, and welcome to the stat room. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's 6.20 in the a.m., and it was an interesting night in DFS, say the least. But before I get into that, I will give you guys my positive word, and my positive word of the day is choices. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the choices that you make today will have either a positive effect on, on your life in the future or an adverse effect on your life in the future. So make sure you make the right choices, guys, because in life, there are no do-overs. There are no reset buttons, none of that. So, again, guys, I'm going to tell you this. If you show me the three people in your circle, the three people you choose to be in your circle, I will show, tell you your future. So, if the three people in your circle, if they just, you know, smoke marijuana and play video games, you'll end up smoking marijuana and playing video games. If you got three people that go to leadership conferences that make a lot of money, you'll go to leadership conferences and make a lot of money. You typically become who you are around. All right, now, guys, when you're on social media, when you choose to put all your personal business on social media, your job will see all of them post. And ladies, you out there posting half-naked pictures? I know a few ladies who got fired from their job from posting half-naked pictures. And you know what happens when you do something wrong? The first thing the government does is look at your Facebook. So listen, when you're in a relationship, don't post anything about your relationship on social media. Don't post that you and your man or you and your woman is at a club or y'all don't, none of that. Don't post you hate your girlfriend, you hate your man because you just made your relationship public and it's supposed to be private. Last, about choices. This might be the most important choice you'll make in your life. Who you choose to be your life partner will be the biggest choice in your life. It's bigger than buying a house, buying a car. You, you choose the wrong life partner, you will waste so much time. A life partner is supposed to uplift you. They're supposed to have the same dreams. Opposites attract, but like-minded people stay together. So you choose the wrong person, you will be set back for, she might set you back your whole life. All right, so I'm going to leave it there with choices. Choose the right person. All right, guys, so I'm going to get into DFS. All right, so people who get lineups for me, I always tell people to run to lineups. All right, the lineup that I ran the most was the lineup. I ran lineup one, and I ran lineup number two yesterday. I didn't play the GPP lineup. I did that one, like I said, I know most of my people didn't run that one because most of my people don't do GPPs. So I got a lot of smart community members. All right, so I'm going to go into lineup one. Um, I had Miley at the pitcher. Guys, Miley got hurt in the first inning. After he retired the second hitter, he got hurt. I didn't really see what happened, but I went on sports and then something happened. He pulled a muscle or something, but he didn't finish. So he only gave us two points. He was on pace to give us about 40 points. He was going to tear the Chicago White Sox up. All right, Romato gave us six. Davis balled out. I knew that. He gave us 30.9. Caprius gave us nine. Who's, he's a great hitter. He didn't come through. Ramirez, who's a great hitter, only gave us three. Anderson, who was due a big game, still didn't have one, gave us six. Stanton, he came through with 15.7. Yellick had 12.2. Jay Bruce was set up to give us a 30-point night. He had 9.2. Happens in baseball, guys. Guys hit the best hitters in baseball hit the ball three out of ten times. So if a guy gets pitched ten times, he's gonna strike out or ground out 70% of the time. That's why baseball is is hard, you know. So that's with that game. Now let's go through some some of the other guys. All right, for my GPP lineup, remember I told you I had a line that could have done 200. Well, this told me to stay away from Coors Field. Because the players are so overpriced and they don't return value often. Let me go through the list. Travis was one of the best hitters in baseball. He gave us 9.2. Lamb, who he is one of the best hitters. He was at Coors Park. Zero. Story, three. Tomas, who's been murdering the ball lately. Three. Blackman, who was a beast. Three. Jay Bruce, 9.2. Guys, if you're going to pick Coors Field, only play one player from there. It doesn't make sense to have four. four. I, I just did, did this one to see what would happen if I had a bunch of hitters from Coors Field. And it was, what, four runs and three runs. So, guys, don't go by parks and all of that because good good pitching will null and void all of the, the hitting no matter where they, they hit. So, guys, when you roster in your lineups, only pick one guy over 4,000 because – I'm looking at the winning lineups. They don't even have a bunch of $4,000 hitters. So don't think you have to get all of the, the big names because if you do that, you'll lose. All right. So for the NBA, guys, I'm going to just give you the full lineup today. Um, point guard is Kyrie Irving and Shelvin Mack. 
shooting guards is DeRozan and Corver. Um, small forward is LeBron James and Haywood. Um, power forward will be Kevin Love and, and, and D West. And center will be Valid Tunis. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave it there. If you like what I did, hit the like button. You can subscribe to me. Guys, if you like my video, share it. You know, some somebody out there might want to hear this positive word, so share it on your Facebook. You know, you can share what Beyonce doing, so share something positive. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys, and enjoy your day.